Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a Profinet configuration using a Vipa Speed 7 Profinet CPU and a Vipa Leo Profinet I.O. system. Now I'm going to use a Simatic Manager from Siemens to do this, so let's start this program. We have to create a small project and I will use a step 7 wizard to do this new project. I have a VIPA 317PN CPU. I select this one, although it's not the right one, I'll have to change it afterwards. And I'll create a small OB1 to make something change. So let's call the project VIPA Profinet. Finish. Project created, let's go to the hardware configuration. Now and here I see my CPU and how do I know how to create the right one? I'll go to the VIPA homepage, server support, manuals, control systems. 300S and then I look for the manual for the 317 pn that's this one now and here I find hardware configuration and as you can see I need to select the 317 2 a key EK13 version 2.6 So in the hardware catalog of Simatic Manager, I go to the CPU 317PN 2A EK13 version 2.6. Okay, of course I delete this one. Delete. Yes. And no, I do not want to delete my OB1. IP address is fine for me, 192.168.0.1 and I'll create a new network. This is my Profinet network. Okay. There is my Profinet one. Now, next thing to do is inserting the VIPA Leo I.O. coupler and configure this one. For this, I first need to install the Slio GSD file. Now, this you can find also on the Vipa website. I'll go back to Service Support, Downloads, and this one is the Profinet GSDML or GSD file. I can save this one to my desktop. And then I have to extract it. So obvious, yes, obviously I already done this one. But you can extract it and then you need to install it over here in the hardware configuration. You press install GSD file, you browse for the correct file. It was located on my desktop in this directory. Get the list of it, click this one and press install. Now I already did it, I've done this so I want to do this again. Once this one is installed, you can find it under Profinet IO, additional field devices IO. You will find the VPA IO system, SLEO system. I select this one, this is the Profinet coupler, and drag it to the Profinet line. Now I can make the configuration of my I.O. system. I have the digital input module, the 1BF00. I have digital another digital input module 1BT00. I have a digital out 1BD00. 
an analog in. So one BB30. And I have an analog out. Is one BB30 as well. I'll double click this Profinet device and most important thing on the Profinet device is the Profinet name. Now here I can choose either to do the name setting through tip switches. You can find this in the manual. Or I can give it a name through the Ethernet. Now in this case I'll select the name setting with the tip switches. Which is quite easy when I need to exchange one. And press OK. As you may have noticed, I don't need to set any IP address, it's done automatically. I'll compile this one. Press OK. OK, now I don't need to download the configuration. I'll first make a small program OB1. So there is a value of changing. I'll load my output byte 0, increase it with 1, and transfer it back again. Save this one. Now it's time to download. Yes, I want to delete the system data in the program controller completely and replace it with my offline system data. Stop and I want to restart it. PLC is going into run. I will add a variable table so we can have a look. Output byte zero. can see that it's running. That's about it. Thank you for watching.